Your turn, we'll get to you. Hey, I'm wondering how, how much of an em, kind of, uh, emphasis of practice has been the, you know, being physical in the post and trying to get yourself, you know, to the free throw line where you can be a pretty big weapon tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, um, I practice, Coach put a big emphasis on the bigs just, like, really, he just want us to be get open and catch the ball. Because, uh, you know, a lot of times, I mean, it's on us, too, not just the passer, to make sure that we get the ball. And then, I mean, getting position and then getting foul a lot of times, I mean, definitely helps the team. So we worked on that a lot. Ken Spencer, I'll go to you, and then uh, John Hale. Well, Andy, there was a couple games there where, you know, not much of an impact out of you, but these last two, it, you know, things have really picked up for you. What, what do you think has been the difference these last two games? I mean, for me, I mean, <clears throat> I think what happened is that I, I mean, I, I just need to focus on fighting, fighting, you know, uh, competing, getting lost in, in, in the fight and competing with the team and just, you know, playing my game out there. Um, no pressure and just, I mean, being locked in and but having fun at the same time. John Hill, go ahead. Olivier, obviously you guys have found kind of a group to work at the end of games, the last two games, but, but Cal just told us he needs fans to help support BJ a little bit. As teammates, what are you guys saying to him right now to keep them positive and keep his spirits up? Man, we're just telling him to stay stay the course, you know. It's gonna it's it's coming. I mean he's working he's working hard, like harder than anybody else. He's in the gym. Um, I think for him it's, it's a matter of time and, and I know it's, it's coming for him so we just we put confidence in him because we see every day what he can do at practice and it, it's a matter of time honestly. Larry Hot will go to you. On sec Larry, stay on mute. Talk to me about the plays that Jacob Toppin makes for you just how he goes about doing things on both ends of the court that might not jump out at you but help you win games I mean JT is at the right spot at the right time every game uh, if you look at the Mississippi State he had I believe a uh, free throw rebound uh, even at the end of the game another rebound under the rim I mean he's he's always at the right spot at the right time and then on defense I mean he takes pride guarding the, the best player out there and I mean, he did an unbelievable job. He's 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 doing the dirty work, and it's paying off for us quite a lot. Thank you, Jared Tipton. Yeah, Olivier. I wondered about uh, Dante. Coach talks about how he his the threat from three with him opens up the court for you and other guys. Can you explain that a little bit? What how what a difference that makes. I mean, obviously, um, you know, he's a knockdown shooter. Uh, he showed it uh, last game and, and, and this game again, but it just makes the defense worried about him too. And it's, I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. He, he opens the court for everybody, Drive, whether it's driving lanes, whether it's, it's room in the post for, for the bigs, for us. It changes the game, you know. It's, it, it makes it way more easy, um, way, way easier for us to just op operate and just be able to play our game and, and get to the line, and it just opens up the court a lot. It looked like to me he didn't, uh, after that last game, seven threes, I would thought maybe he'll just sort of search out shots. But he didn't, really didn't do that, I didn't think. What do you think about the, uh, uh, let's say, prudence he played with him? I think he just, um, you know, Dante wants to do what's best for the team, and, and what's best for the team for us is, is shooting threes. But then, you know, defense adapts. And, but as a shooter, just being a shooter and just being out there without, without even him having the ball because of the defense, it just opens up for us. But I think he still has to find a way to get these threes off and because he's, he's so great of a shooter. Ken Spencer, we're going to you. Yeah, Olivier, Vanderbilt's, uh, I know you were already found out of the game, but Vanderbilt's attempts to, to tie it at the very end, especially that last one, seemed like it bounced around forever. What was going through your mind at that moment? Man, I was, I mean, it was just, it was just like, at that point, it was, please, like, let us, let us win, don't go in. It was, 
we fought through, we, 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 we stayed a course, we believed. Dave John hit an unbelievable shot at the end. I mean, great execution, great rebound by Isaiah. We, I mean, we fought, so I thought that we deserved to win. And, and it was stressful, you know, being out, out and not being able to control on the court, but they did a great job. Anything else, guys? All right, we'll get Davion in here for you.